we're working on supporting Ukraine's resilience and supporting Ukraine's struggle because Ukraine's struggle is also our struggle and we want to support it to the maximum extent. We do that in diff different ways uh, and the uh, humanitarian assistance is a very um, a crucial component of our assistance. And that's one thing that is very different in this humanitarian crisis in comparison to what I've seen in my career previously. This is a man-made disaster. Let us not forget, this is not a natural disaster. This is man-made. Secondly, uh, Ukraine is a uh, European country with a highly developed local infrastructure in terms of local governance, in terms of uh, municipalities, in terms of comaras, in terms of regions. And the good thing in this crisis is that the uh, decentralization reform that was conducted a couple of years ago with the strong support of the European Union and Denmark uh, has actually uh, passed the test. It has passed the baptism of fire because in these very difficult circumstances we can see that municipalities, elected mayors, they are responsible for humanitarian assistance at the local level. And we're happy to support uh, through uh, you lead uh, those local structures. And right now we're working on a donation of hygiene kits and, um, and canned foods. And we are proud to do that through uh, you lead um, our close partner, and through the municipalities uh, that have been established throughout the country. And uh, we will continue this work and we look forward to a work with you lead in the future.